Anybody home? Anybody there? It's great news. I'm going to wait a little bit, see if everybody shows up. What's going on? What's going on? Lone Star Living, Farmer Meemaw. Hey, Farmer Meemaw, hope your recovery is going good. We got some secrets to teach you about these onions too, but we'll do that on a later video. So uh, today we're gonna be talking about the best day ever in a YouTuber, for a YouTuber. All right, so a lot of you guys uh, know the uh, saga of the laptop. So we got the, um, you know, I knew where it was. I knew I went through the second checkpoint after meeting Eric, and I knew that I took my shoes off. I remember placing it in the tray. I knew TSA had it. So TSA has a system in place where they'll gather up all the stuff left behind, and then they bring it to a central location the next day. So like they have these Monday, Wednesday, Friday days, and then they have the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday days, and then anything left on the weekend gets reported in on Monday. So I called them right away when I got home and it was a recording. I started calling them yesterday. Some of you guys even called, <laughs> which was awesome. And uh, I left a message. And so I thought it was like this whole recording thing the whole time. Well, it turns out that TSA has some nice uh, lady in Minnesota, um, Ken. Thank you, Ken, if you watch this. Uh, she reached out to me. She gets in at about 9 30 10 o'clock So I thought it was like an automated system the whole time and it turns out that they actually have someone manning the phones After about 9 30 10 o'clock central standard time So I blew up the phone in the morning with a bunch of messages, you know, making sure they got my information making sure they knew what I was looking for and um, So they called me yesterday yeah, yesterday afternoon, you know, it was about 12, 31 o'clock. I mean, it's worse than like being in labor with your kid, right? Because <laughs> the recording says that uh, they'll check the messages, they'll um, self-identify with things left behind, and when they make the connection to the two, that they'll call you, and they did. So we caught the call yesterday, and, um, you know, they're shipping it out, UPS. I'll get it tomorrow, uh, probably in the morning, I guess before 1030, and then I'll be busy. Uh, so... I don't know if we'll have a video. We might try to go live Sunday, if that would be cool. We could probably, me and Stacy together, go live Sunday. Or oh, hold on, let me think about it. Yeah, we could go live Sunday. Um, so leave a comment down below if you guys want to catch Stacy and myself both together live on Sunday. And then uh, I'll be working on those edits. And I'm gonna got, I got three, probably, if the knife thing's probably gonna be a two-part series. And then uh, the meetup with Eric at the airport. So we'll have three really good videos coming your way. And then we're back on to, you know, getting our daily videos out and all that stuff. So you guys leave a comment down below. But, you know, like when I titled this video, I don't, the best day ever as a YouTuber is not just the fact that, yeah, they found the laptop and it's coming home. But I think the best day ever um, as a YouTuber you know, for us and our channel is the outpouring from you guys. You guys were so into it. Um, you know, you left a bunch of cool comments. Like I said, some of you homestead homies even called the airport in Minnesota. I mean, that's crazy. You guys are awesome. So that's the best day. Hold on. Got a little choked up for a second. <laughs> you guys are killing me. All right. So that's the best day ever as a, um, as a YouTuber is just the love and support that we get from you guys all 80,000 I can't believe it 80,000 almost 81,000 of you guys uh, tuning in yeah sure every 80,000 of you don't watch every single video but you know you guys rotate around you catch a couple you don't catch a couple and um, you know you guys are awesome so that's the best day ever is just seeing that the uh, you know the love that we get from you guys the support you know the the um, just the friendships and the bonds that we're making is just awesome. So I wanted to come on, let you guys know about this, and uh, we'll be we'll get we'll get on it. Um, uh, today's uh, I'm gonna go over and build one of my neighbors a couple raised beds. Um, he's kind of a senior dude. It's the guy where I borrowed the tractor from, so that's cool. And uh, we're gonna hang out a little bit. I'm gonna get his beds filled up with dirt and uh, get his beds made for him. And then I'm gonna come back here and then I'm gonna finish working on our garden area. Um, everything, as you can see, I mean, you know, we got we got all the plantings going on. Everything's good, and uh, we're working on the Back to Eden area right now. And then we're going to have a really cool um, unveiling for you guys. We're going to show you what's up, 
and uh, we're a little bit behind this year so you know this year might not be the most fantastic garden but you guys stay tuned for our fall and uh, spring next year because it's really going to be something because we have all of our systems in place now so that's about it really uh i can i'm we're adding more dirt i'm gonna have a potato bin update coming up pretty soon and uh then after i get this um area closed up this garden area and everything on the gates on and everything i'll be going um over to start the shower the outdoor shower build um so that'll be pretty cool and stacy just asked me about that this morning she said hey are you gonna do that outdoor shower after you get the garden closed up i'm like yes dear <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be cool we'll get that underway you guys will really like that and then um probably soon after that i'm going to be hooking up the hot water system for the outdoor kitchen so you guys are going to love that you're going to be like i don't think there's there's nothing like it on youtube let me just put it that way so you guys uh, are awesome we appreciate you homestead homies um again if you didn't if you didn't catch it eric did a video uh at life and farmland and if you go over to simple little life uh and you can check out some of the knife build that we did together over there he did a really good video about that both good channels both uh, recommended and again you know you guys are always asking how you can make uh, money on the out um on the homestead and knife building is a great way to do it so i did pretty good i guess that's what um jeremy says on my first knife build but you know you can just see how repetition and muscle memory and then you get better and better and you know you can really kill it uh making knives on the homestead if that's something that you're into now myself um I probably won't be like the knife making dude. <laughs> so I thought it was a cool experience uh, to do. And it's a piece now that I've made. So like my sons, they're going to fight over it. You know what I mean? Because it's something that they both enjoy knives. And it's something that I made with my own hands. And, and the added story of it is that I've traveled to Canada to do it. So um, that it's kind of neat. You know, it was kind of neat. And I got to meet a cool dude, uh, Jeremy over at Simple Little Life and got to bump into Eric at the airport. So that was really cool. So we totally were digging that. Um, and Eric's a good dude, tries really hard with his videos. And uh, so you guys have been over there smashing it and uh, saying, you know, that he, I just want you guys to know that he, both of those guys do a really good job editing and stuff. You know, we're more of a raw, you know, thing. I'm gonna try to get a little better, but you know we're, we're good point and shooters i mean <laughs> so yeah it's a nice day today i can't believe we've had an actual spring this year you guys all ask how um how we handle the summers normally we're deep six weeks five weeks four weeks into summer right now right at this time of year normally and it's already been hot like 90 i mean we have had the best weather so if this is global warming bring it on i appreciate it <laughs> uh, so everything's going good guys again thanks for all the love and support uh with the um with the uh with the laptop thing it was i can't i can't believe some of you guys even called the uh minneapolis st paul airport uh me and the girl were talking it was it was really kind of funny actually uh i'll get a bunch of videos out and then i think me and stacy will we'll do a talk about it on the live show that we'll do sunday and then we'll just uh, i got some stories to tell about my travels and this kind of stuff and we'll just kind of catch you guys up a little bit i know some of these videos lately have been uh been catch-up videos but we're just trying to catch you guys up. Don't forget, we're going to be in Vermont, Burlington, Vermont, June 10th uh, for the Mother Earth News Fair. And then all the links, I believe, are down below so you guys can go check those out. Yeah, the um, even on the laptop, though, it, the quality is pretty good, mini steading on the... Um, on the live streams because we're killing it with this uh verizon unlimited data 4g lte and it's the most reliable network in america and believe me i even went to canada and there's no roaming charges in canada or mexico so pff, this is a no-brainer for us so thanks uh duet justice if you guys haven't checked out their channel they're a um uh, rv couple and they came by and gave your homestead homie dougie boy here a tip on the uh, Verizon wireless and we switched and so we really enjoyed that it's really working out well so one thing for sure you know you guys are doing your thing and d you know don't get um 
you know, caught up into doing the same thing. You have to do it this way, this way. I mean, if if we didn't keep an open mind and we didn't listen to people, and you know, and there's some things, yeah, you're just going to be like, yeah, I don't think it's going to work for us or that won't work for us. And you've already maybe tried it. Or, I mean, there are things people suggest like ram pumps and stuff that aren't going to work for us. But you always have to keep your ears open and think about like, could that work here? You know, can I try it, you know, without being out a bunch of time and money, you know, like, would it be feasible? And, and that way, if you keep evolving and you keep changing your procedures and your things that you're doing, you can get better and better. So, you know, just always remember to keep an open mind. Don't be closed up. You know, we always try to do that here, guys. We started out farming and raising our garden with a team of Belgians and plowing with an 1800 style plow. Now, I wouldn't take that back for anything. I love the experience, but I'm just saying like, this method that we're using now for aging in place is is huge. I mean, these raised beds, Stacy loves them. The back to Eden Garden area is um, killing it. So all these things are going to be better for us as we age as senior folks. <laughs> but if you guys stick around, you're going to see like, woo, those get, they get it going because we're going to stay active and mobile and all that stuff. That's the plan anyway. You know, you never know what tomorrow brings, so you don't want to get too crazy. So, man, oh man, what a, it was crazy. I was calling them and calling them and I'm like, why don't they have a person on the phone? So everything works out good. Uh, I got to get my rams. I got a bunch of rams in the sheep herd uh, that are coming of age. So I got to get them separated too. I'm going to put them over um, at the hay fields here, the hay barn field. A lot of guys are out cutting hay right now. So we'll be loading up hay pretty soon. Um, there's, so there's, you know, there's always something going on in the homestead. So. Everything worked out good with the computer in case you're just joining us. Um, and uh, we'll get the videos rolling back out. We'll probably, I'll do this uh, show today. Probably, maybe not nothing tomorrow. If we do, we might do just a little something live from the garden or something. Then I think Sunday, maybe me and Stacy will sit down inside, have a live show with you guys. I got to see if that works for her. In the, maybe in the morning or something, 10.30. Um, or maybe we should do it in the evening. Leave, leave it down below. Should we do it? If we do it on Sunday, should we do it on the morning or the evening? Like at around, I don't know, six, six or seven. So just leave it. I need to know what you guys think so we can plan it. I know a lot of you guys go to church and you're out doing your stuff. So is it, is the morning or evening better? And then that's what we'll try to work around. I know a lot of people miss our live shows on the first Thursday of every month, you know, because they're at work and it's in the morning. So maybe an evening thing on Sunday would be good. We could catch more people at home and, uh, you know, we'll see how that works. All right, I'm going to take a second here to read some comments and uh, maybe answer a few questions. And then I'm going to get on it. All right, any questions? waiting on the delay here so there's a little pause in the action hey mr tony peak hope you're feeling better um my first time seeing a live stream cool welcome to the show man this thing's moving fast hey main homestead project smsb you are you excited to be on smcb sc smcb all right hope tell me what is smcb Hey, Liz, we're still waiting for your intro video. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of you guys now from Facebook. Oh, Southern Mama's Coffee Break. Yeah, I'm going to be on Southern Mama's Coffee Break sometime late in this year because I thought it was coming up. And I said, make sure you remind me. She says, oh, we'll remind you, but it's in like August. So we got a little bit of time for that. And uh, so check us out there, Southern, Mother's, Southern Mama's Coffee Break. We're going to do a little interview with those guys. Um, I don't know what it's about. Uh, I shouted woohoo at work about your computer news. <laughs> All right, I hope you don't get in trouble. You know how they are sometimes. Uh, up behind you. Up behind me, these are the onions. These are our onions right here. Remember we planted our onions really early? Some of them bolted a little bit, but we're going to tell you guys. Um, we got some tricks and tips for you guys about these onions and what you can do with them. My, hi, my wife found you guys' channel, and you're hooked, and you guys are a great inspiration. Cool, Jeremy, I'm glad you guys found us, and uh, welcome to the show. Uh, we had a little computer drama here, but we're getting back on, uh, 
What's up, Colorado? We're getting back on track. Hi, Miss Julie Jacobs. We're getting back on track. You you weren't the one who lost that uh, lost your purse, were you, Julie Jacobs? I read that story. I was like, oh, I was crushed. My laptop didn't mean nothing when I read that story. What type of onions are you growing? Um, these are uh, like white and uh, red onions, I think. Stacy's in charge of that stuff, so I won't even fake it. All right, mediators. No mediators. Somebody wipe out Umiko Cheyenne. Got a potty mouth in the house. Wee Tree Bonsai. There you go. Good job, girl. Give us a hint about your hot water plan. The hint is the water is going to be really hot. <laughs> and it, it uses thermal siphon techniques. So stay tuned. Can you please turn your phone sideways? I was wondering, um, I wanted to do my phone sideways, but it kept telling me to rotate my device. So I was making sure that I wasn't missing out my video. This is much better. I know better because I'm a YouTuber. Um, so there you go. Is that working better for you? But now I can't read the comments. <laughs> uh, do you have any medical... Oh, man, I can't read them now. Go back. You're sideways. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. I can't see your beard now. YouTube Live is broken that way. Yeah. How to start Egyptian onions. I don't think we've ever raid, uh, made Egyptian onions. No, go back. Oh no, now you're sideways. Hold on. I don't know what, what you guys are talking about here. I'm originally from Hannibal, Missouri, and I loved one day to stop in and visit. I need to get an intro video put together. Yeah, we don't allow anybody to come here who hasn't done an intro video. <laughs> oh, you inspired me to buy three Peking ducks for my kids, and they love them. Good job. Ducks are pretty cool. Uh, we have a really good time. Our um, Here, I'll take you over and show you. We'll do a crazy live show today. All right, so our... Uh, our ducks and chickens were driving Stacy crazy, our little babies. So remember that $50 chicken coop I built? I mean, this thing, I'm telling you, this thing's so versatile. So now we brought the um, we brought the little ducks out and the chicks, and we got them in the $50 chicken coop, and I'll show you guys how they're doing. Hello, duck ducks. Hello, duck ducks. So there you go. There's your little uh, animal fix. So they're doing really good. Yeah, they're growing fast too. We had them in the cheap pool pretty quick in the back room. Uh, then um, I would left to go to Canada, so Stacy's like, these things are driving me nuts. So she put them out there in the uh, in the chicken coop thing we built. And um, here, I'm, I'm going to give you guys a treat. You, you 281 of you that have showed up early and come to the live shows, I'm going to give you guys a little treat, and then everyone else will just see it on the replay. All right? Back to Eden Garden. So we got a trellis here. Um with our we've got armenian cucumbers going to be coming up right here they're going to go over this trellis here's a panoramic shot of what we got going on so far these are going to be some uh, peas and whatnot marigolds all the blackberries are in back here now we got two rows of blackberries over there's the asparagus patch so i like the transition here to the rock Here's all of our greens and peppers and onions, cabbages. Let's 
so you guys got the uh, you guys got the sneaky peek, and then everyone else that watches later on today will get to see it too. All right. So yeah, we've been working hard on that. We want to do you guys uh, do you guys proud on the back to eating garden and stuff, you know. And so when you say you're a homestead homie, and people think, well, I don't know if they know how to grow that food. Yeah, we know how to do it. We're just trying to get everything in place so we can have a rock solid long term food forest so we can have more FOD food on demand. Stacy just comes out here and makes our salad right out of here. Yeah, we use some tomato cages. I made some tomato cages out of cattle panel stuff, uh, not cattle panel stuff, but uh, you know, the woven wire uh, fence stuff. I made some of that. And then I got some uh, posts that I use, but um, you know, we're gonna revamp that. I don't know if we're gonna use the, the fence cages that I made I think they're a little too small so we'll probably just go to like a cage or a spike and then just tie them up but either way is fine what are, you know it's all about personal preference on that kind of stuff all right that's 21 minutes and 24 seconds thank all you guys for showing up again the best day for the youtuber wasn't really necessarily that the um you know that the computer was returned. It's just the outpouring of love and support from you guys uh, towards Stacy and myself is just, you know, we just really, really, really appreciate it. You guys uh, are really killing it. You're sharing our videos. We see you guys over at the Homestead Homie Group. Um, it's growing. It's so fast. I mean, we have a couple people doing moderations and stuff. You know, they like to help out. And they're like complaining that they can hardly keep up. <laughs> so keep that up. We want to grow that community. Everybody is uh, getting along great in there. They're sharing some great advice. If you haven't checked it out and you're on Facebook, uh, it's the Homestead Homie Group. And um, I think we're 6,000 something members. And I think we've only been up for like barely two months. So, up. Oh. Follow Jesus. You're going to have to come back and watch the replay when the, when this uploads in a few minutes. <laughs> but I want to thank all you guys uh, again. You guys are killing it. And, um, yeah, almost 81,000 subscribers, Martin DeLeon. Uh, appreciate you guys. We cannot grow this channel. We cannot get the word out. We cannot do what we're doing if it wasn't for you guys. I mean, it's just that plain and simple. You guys are the foot soldiers. You're out there sharing the stuff, talking to people about it, showing up at the events. Um, I was talking to the Sun Oven guy yesterday, and he told me that he went to another thing in Texas, and he could not believe the amount of people that walked up to him and said they saw the Sun Oven on Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. He, I mean, I'm telling you guys, he was like, he's taken back by it. He was just like, I can't believe it. Like, all the work he's put into it and everything, and his most, um, his most, like, recognized product placement is off grid with Doug and Stacy. So really, really appreciate that guys. You know, we just want to keep providing you guys with good information, good tips, things that don't work. We want to show you things that do work. We want to show you. And, um, we just want to hang out. Are you using chicken waste, Doug? Yeah, we, we clean out our chicken coops and, uh, we let it age and then we use it, uh, as a compost, just like any good homesteader would. Um, except for like corn and a few other things, they like the nitrogen. So you can, uh, you know, put those almost a direct sow kind of a thing right on there. So, yeah, you don't do Facebook and I get that. Some people don't. Uh, Prissy Green, some people don't do Facebook or Instagram. I know I had somebody say, oh, I wish I would have known Doug was in Calgary. She's like, I would have fell over if I saw him here. I live here in Calgary. And I thought, oh, shoot. You know, if you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you know, we kind of give you a little more inside maybe of what's going on. And then we could have maybe had a meetup. Um, but, you know, we just try to do the best we can. Uh, and we just try to share our adventure with you guys. So thank you all for showing up, for hanging out. Uh, supposed to rain again, Doug. Yeah, today, maybe later. Oh, it's Bob. Hey, Bob. Yeah, he knows because he's in Missouri. It's supposed to rain later today. Just for a quick shower, I think. But then tomorrow and the next day, it's supposed to rain pretty good. So, do you grow beets? Yeah, we do grow beets, and I'm not sure which one. Stacy's in charge of um, seed ordering and and experiments and stuff like that. I do all the heavy work. Um, Stacy does that. You know, that's her gig. You know, so we're a team like that. So we'll go. We'll we'll go over all the stuff. If you guys write down in the comments when this video uploads and the comments, and you can leave a comment, come back. 
Yeah, we have apples um, and bushes, you know, like berries, blueberries, blackberries, elderberries, and stuff like that. But you guys come back to this video as soon as I upload it here in a minute, and then leave a comment, Sunday live show, evening or morning. And then if it's evening, we'll probably do it around 6, 6.30, or leave some times on, an, on a Sunday evening thing, and then we'll see which one's most popular. Maybe we'll just go with that and uh, you know work it that way for you. All the, uh, let's see what do we got there. Yep. All right, so that's it. Thanks for a lot for hanging out. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, give this video about seven to 10 minutes. It'll upload, then you guys can leave your comments. And we'll check you guys out on the next episode. Don't forget, that's just next week. Hey, Eric. Looking great. Great live stream. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, appreciate our friendship. Hey, uh, Jeremy. I gave you a shout out. Both of you guys got another shout out today. And uh, you go, go check out their channels. And then when I put up the videos, I'll have all the links and everything else. So you guys go check those two channels out. Hit the smash button. I know a lot of you guys went over and subscribed. So if you didn't on the last show, make sure you do it now. We'll see you guys on the next video. Um, we're going to do that live show Sunday. And then back to our regularly scheduled programming. This is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. And we'll see you on the next one.